Oh, my goodness, the smell is quite like sort of... Mm. You think it might be rather tart in your mouth? Cross between night nurse and jelly igniter. You get a really rich fruit, even though it's got a lovely green edge. Shite. Supermarket shite. Complete shite. Well, that's, that smells like shite. Financially, I'm taking a big risk, but if I, if I can't produce a wine better than this shit, I might as well pack up and go home and do something else. I'm the wine correspondent for The Observer. But I think it's a risky project. Yes, of course it is, because anything involving nature and farming is risky. The whole thing could go disastrously wrong. It really could. And I suppose if Monty's putting his own money into it, that's even more worrying. It's certainly worrying me. Uh, I'm going to move down to uh, Roussillon in Mediterranean France, which is right down here. Bonjour. See you. I'm off to see a guy called uh, Jean Plain. He's got loads of contacts here, and he's he's the key man for me because he knows he knows all the vineyards that are up for sale, and hopefully he can find me one. Bonjour, je m'appelle uh, Monty. Oui. Uh, vous êtes Jean. Oui. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm going to be doing it uh, biodynamically. Uh, biodynamics is harnessing cosmic uh, planetary forces um, into your vineyard, into your plants to make them receptive to beneficial energies. Frankly, I think it's completely barking mad. Organic wine, ha, load of nonsense. Frankly, you know, you might just as well throw your money away. Well, well this is the, uh, yeah, the, this is the first vineyard to it. And the jar goes from, how, where, where does the vineyard start and where does it finish? Alors, uh, tu peux voir, c'est un superbe sol de mori. Uh -huh. uh, c'est des schistes. Uh -huh. Uh, Jean's brought me here because uh, this is um, quite an old vineyard, nice old vines, wide space, easy to work, you get very high yields and I can certainly make money. It's also got fantastic soil but it's, uh, it's useless because of, uh, because of this pylon. But why? Because of this uh, bloody great pylon. And uh, why you, <laughs> you don't... Well, because I'm going to do my vineyard uh, um, biodynamically and I want the moon I want the lunar influence to be strong here. And with this, okay. it's just it's just not going to be possible. Pour faire de la production, pour faire de l'argent. Yeah, no, I, yeah, pour faire la yeah, I know I can make <laughs> money here, but I just can't do it. I can't do biodynamics with a pylon that's going to interfere interfere with all my lunar cycles. It's impossible. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can see I can see why he's brought me here, but it's just it's just not going to work. This vineyard, I'm afraid, we we got to go and see something else. This one's a bit of a mess, unfortunately. Yeah, this kind of thing, it's, it's a bit sort of scrappy. 14,000 euros, that's expensive. Bonjour. Bonjour, Eric. Je m'appelle Monty. Yeah, you can see that Eric says that if this vineyard was really polluted, you wouldn't have this kind of um, insect activity, which is fantastic. Yeah. It's just really a question of transforming that life into, into quality wine. Uh, everything's, everything about it is right. It's isolated, it's fantastic position, it's got amazing soil, old vines, and it's a you, you know when you feel comfortable, so when, you're like, when you walk into a house and you, all right, I want to buy it, this is where I want to be. There's a huge global surplus of wine at the moment and of quality wine, more quality wine than there's ever been before in history. You know, he's facing an uphill task, it really is, to get this stuff onto a shelf somewhere. We won't be using any chemicals in the vineyards, and the only machinery I'll have is a knackered old donkey. Contact avec la mule, c'est-à-dire tenir les guides. Uh -huh. Ce qui est important, c'est de ressentir la bête. Okay. So Ma gauche. He says, you've got to feel them like this. So uh -huh. you've got to have a good contact with the animal. You've got to. She's got to know that you're there. 
By the way, if you're a bit vague about it, she's just going to stand there all day and have a laugh. <laughs> she'll have a bit more character than the mule. You've got be, you to have more personality than the, than the animal, otherwise you're stuffed. Violette, allez, on marche. Violette, come on, come on. Violette, Violette, come on. Allez, on marche. Violette. Avec lui, avec, he said with conviction, there you go. That was a little bit like Tony Blair handing out orders. God. I think I've just knocked a vine over. I think the mule is going in the right direction, but I'm not. It's very hard to... There we go. <laughs> I, could be, I could be on the uh, telephone to um, Ford Tractors Incorporated to do my vineyard. That's a 10 hour, 10, 15 hours of work. This is absolutely knackering. I have actually taken a weed out, which I'm quite pleased about, but as long as I don't hit any vines, it should be okay. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I know I've got to find someone to help me because we're going to put in a lot of hours of manual work and the pressure will really be on. I'm from Australia. I really want this job because of uh, the beautiful scenery. I'm level-headed. I've got a good sense of humour. I'll work very hard. The only drawback could be that I have a bit of a temper. <laughs> I think this could be a beautiful relationship. Yeah. I'm going to give him a very honest opinion. He'd expect nothing less. But I'm really looking forward to tasting it. Uh, I could get hailed on. I could uh, get a lot of rain. There could be a severe drought. I could get eaten by insects. I could get attacked by rot. Um, the Australian might not want to do the work. The donkey might break down halfway through. I might not get the at the right time. I might get them vinegarized. I might. Oh, you might make a crap wine